Hey guys, welcome back to Never Alone. We're really close to the end, so let's just speed right through it and save our village. As you can see, the wind is way more powerful than usual, and the intervals are getting a lot shorter. The girl found what looked like a giant man who used an ant to mash the snow loose. Then he shoveled it off the ground. Each time he did this, a gust of wind blew the loose snow. Creating a blizzard that traveled in the direction of the girl's village. She had found the source of the blizzard. Alright, now we gotta fight a giant man. A man of ice. How am I going to get all the way up there? The girl exclaimed. My friend, we will do it together. Replied the fox. Looks like I gotta break this ice. Gonna go over there now. Can't get too close to that ice. The spikes. The spikes are not nice.
watch how this works. They climbed to the top of the giant man. The girl realized what she must do. If I could just steal his ads. She thought, surely the blizzard would stop. Jump for your life! The girl ran towards the giant ads. It broke loose and fell to the tundra floor. The giant ran after the girl, but she was too fast. She must be really strong have really deep pockets.
one step closer, guys. The girl made it back to her village. The blizzard man was not far behind. Give me my odds. The girl struck the odds on a rock. To ruin the edge of its blade. I threw it up to the giant man. He was so happy, he burst out laughing and began to sing. The the girl was reunited with her family. The fox said to the girl, If you ever need to find your way home again, just look up for me.
and floated up through the night sky. I've heard Nazrak tell the story that way. Well, that's it, guys. That's the game. Stick around for the cultural insights and the end credits. Otherwise, you can always leave a like if you like the video, dislike if you don't. And on the comment section down below, let me know what you thought about the game. If you're liking the videos I'm making so far, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It'll let you know every time I upload a new video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. The recurring type of character in Anupiak stories is the Manslayer. And the Manslayer is kind of this bad guy. And I think really what's at risk when the Manslayer comes into story is the livelihood of individuals and the whole community. And so the Manslayer is really used as a way to say, don't act only for yourself. Always hold the community in your heart. Often time in these stories, there is one person that will stand up. And, and what this humble person will represent who faces that manslayer is a return to order, a return to true living in the community. And it just takes that one person. It could just be that one person that can help to change everything. Because everyone wants to live a good life. Everyone wants to have a good community. With regard to the environment, the blizzards have been one of the key elements that have impacted the survival of people, in, especially in the hard uh, winter. We know a blizzard is coming when the moon is starting to get fuzzy. We also look at the stars. When the stars are twinkling fast, we know a storm is approaching. We look to the clouds in the sky to give us a direction the storm is coming from. We learn these uh, as children by observing weather on a daily basis. With the story of Kunuk Sayuka, told by Robert Cleveland, it's just a, it's just a masterwork. It's a well-known story among the Inupiaq people. And in our case, of producing a video game that really reflects indigenous heritage, it's, it captures the imagination. And it's something that you have a very specific kind of task to do. There's a blizzard, you know, and it is just a non-stop blizzard that is overpowering the people. And there's one man that wants to figure it out. And in our case of the story, it's a girl that wants to find the source of that blizzard. The blizzard man, it's like that is the physical embodiment of an element of nature. And so there's a person that needs to go up and take away that, that adds, that's chipping away that, that snow. In that community, the person least expected is the one who stands up and makes the difference. Humility is something that we value, and where that comes from is the idea that you are not the biggest thing in the world. And when you live in an extreme environment like where the Inuit reside, you are at the whim of the environment, of the climate, of the animals. You can be as prepared as you can, you know, by learning from your elders that you know, you're not the biggest force in the world.